Number 7. The CIA Pilots Alien and Mars Secrets John Lear was a former CIA pilot and a controversial figure in the UFO community. He claimed to have insider knowledge of alien civilizations visiting Earth and their interactions with secret government agencies. He also claimed that humans have been to Mars since 1966 and that there are already colonies set up on the Red Planet. According to Lear, there are at least five to ten different alien races that have been in contact with Earth, and some of them are hostile. He said that the aliens have bases on the moon and other planets, and that they've given advanced technology to the U.S. government. And in exchange for the technology, the U.S. gave the aliens permission to abduct humans and experiment on them. He also said that the aliens have a sinister agenda to enslave humanity and harvest our souls. Lear said that he learned about these secrets from his contacts in the CIA and other intelligence agencies, as well as from his own research and investigations. He said that he'd seen classified documents, photos, and videos that confirmed his claims. He also said that he'd witnessed UFOs and alien vehicles himself, and that he'd met with former astronauts who'd been to Mars. Lear's claims were met with skepticism and criticism by many people including other UFO researchers and debunkers. He was accused of spreading misinformation and fantasies, and he was also challenged to provide evidence or proof for his allegations, which he failed to do. But he admitted that some of his claims were based on speculation or intuition, and that he didn't have all the answers. Lear passed away at the age of 79 on March 29, 2022. He left behind a legacy of controversy and intrigue in the UFO field. Some people regarded him as a brave whistleblower who exposed the truth about alien visitation and government cover-ups. But others dismissed him as a delusional liar who made up stories for attention or money. And to this day, no evidence has been presented to support his claims. Number 6. Face on Mars have you ever looked at the clouds and thought you saw shapes of animals, people, or objects? Well, some people do the same thing with planets, and one of the most famous examples of this is the face on Mars. The face on Mars is a large hill in a region called Cydonia that looks like a human face when viewed from certain angles and lighting conditions. It was first spotted by NASA's Viking 1 lander in 1976, and it caused quite a stir among the public and the media. Some people thought it was a sign of an ancient alien civilization that once lived on Mars and left behind a monument for us to find. But others thought it was nothing but a coincidence or a trick of the light. NASA tried to debunk the face on Mars by releasing another image of the same area taken from a different angle and time. They said that the face was just an optical illusion caused by shadows and erosion. Some people weren't convinced by this explanation. They accused NASA of hiding the truth and tampering with the images, and they demanded more evidence and investigations. Since then, several other missions have taken more pictures of the face on Mars using higher resolution cameras and different wavelengths of light. And surprisingly, face on Mars looked less and less like a face as the quality of the images increased. In fact, it looks more like a pile of rocks. But don't be too disappointed. Mars still has plenty of other mysteries and wonders to explore and discover. And maybe one day soon, we'll find something even more amazing than a face on Mars. Number 5. The Methane Mystery Mars is a cold and dry planet, but it might be hiding a secret that could change everything we know about it. Mars has methane in its atmosphere. And according to scientists, that's a big deal. But why is that so important? It's because methane is usually a sign of life. Methane is a gas that's produced by living organisms like bacteria, plants, and animals. But it can also be produced by geological processes. However, on Earth, most of the methane comes from life. So if Mars has methane, does that mean it has life too? That's the question that NASA and other space agencies are trying to answer. They've sent several missions to Mars to measure and analyze the methane levels in the air, and the results are rather surprising. One of the most intriguing findings came from NASA's Curiosity rover, which landed on Mars in 2012. Curiosity has a device called SAM, which is short for Sample Analysis at Mars, and it can detect and identify gases in the Martian atmosphere. In 2019, SAM detected a spike in methane levels that were 21 times higher than normal. That's a lot of methane. But where did it come from, and how did it get there? Unfortunately, Curiosity couldn't find the source or origin of the methane. It could have been released from underground reservoirs or carried by wind from faraway regions, 
but it's also possible that it was produced by microbes living in the soil or by rocks reacting with water. Or maybe it was something else entirely. The mystery of Martian methane remains unsolved to this day, but Mars has many other secrets and mysteries that await discovery as well. And maybe, with a little luck, one of them will reveal that we aren't alone in the universe. Number 4. The Lizard People Conspiracy Theory Have you ever wondered what the Nazis were up to in Antarctica during World War II? Well, according to some conspiracy theorists, they weren't just looking for a safe haven or a place rich in resources. They were actually building a secret base for their space program under the guidance of an ancient race of reptilian aliens. This may sound pretty crazy, but a lot of people believe that the Nazis had contact with extraterrestrials who taught them advanced technology and occult knowledge. These aliens were supposedly the same ones who ruled over ancient civilizations like Atlantis and Lemuria and who still live in underground bases around the world. They're also known as the Anunnaki, the Nephilim, or simply the Reptilians. The conspiracy theorists claim that the Nazis were able to develop flying saucers, anti-gravity devices, and even a time machine with the help of these aliens. They also claim that some Nazi leaders like Adolf Hitler escaped to Antarctica after the war and continued their experiments there. They even say that the Nazis made contact with a hidden civilization inside the hollow earth, where they found a portal to another dimension. Of course, there's no solid evidence for any of these claims. They're based on dubious sources, such as alleged whistleblowers, channelers, and former SS officers. They also contradict historical facts and scientific laws. And because of this, they're mostly dismissed by mainstream historians and experts as fantasies and hoaxes. But that doesn't stop some people from believing these claims and spreading them online. They think that NASA and other space agencies are hiding the truth about the Nazi space program and reptilian aliens. They also believe that they're part of a global conspiracy to enslave humanity and prepare for a final battle between good and evil. The secret Nazi space program guided by reptilians is one of the most bizarre and outrageous conspiracy theories out there. It may sound like a bad sci-fi movie, but some people take it seriously. Whether you find it amusing or alarming, it shows just how far some people are willing to go to explain the mysteries of the world. Do you believe in an ancient race of intelligent lizard people? Tell us your thoughts in the comments, and while you're at it, subscribe. 3. Mars Ancient Water Mars is often called the Red Planet because of its dry and dusty appearance. However, scientists have discovered that Mars wasn't always so barren and arid. In fact, billions of years ago, Mars had abundant water on its surface, forming oceans, rivers, and lakes that could have supported life. One of the main sources of evidence for ancient water on Mars is the presence of features that resemble those carved by water on Earth. These include outflow channels, valley networks, river deltas, and shorelines. NASA's orbiters, like the Mars Global Surveyor and Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, have mapped out these features using high-resolution cameras and laser altimeters. Some of these features suggest that water flowed on Mars until relatively recently, about 2 billion to 2.5 billion years ago. Another source of evidence for ancient water on Mars is the detection of minerals that require water to form. These include clays, carbonates, and sulfates. NASA's rovers, such as Spirit, Opportunity, and Curiosity, have analyzed these minerals using spectrometers and X-ray diffraction instruments. Some of these minerals indicate that the water on Mars was neutral or alkaline which could have been favorable for life in the past. A third source of evidence for ancient water on Mars is the estimation of how much water was present on the planet. NASA scientists have used data from orbiters and landers to measure the ratio of hydrogen isotopes in the Martian atmosphere and rocks. Hydrogen isotopes are variants of hydrogen with different numbers of neutrons. The lighter isotope hydrogen-1 can escape to space more easily than the heavier isotope deuterium. By comparing the ratio of hydrogen-1 to deuterium on Mars with that on Earth, scientists can infer how much water has been lost over time. They estimate that Mars had enough water to cover its entire surface in a liquid layer about 459 feet deep, or enough to form an ocean occupying almost half of its northern hemisphere with depths greater than one mile. NASA's current and future missions aim to further explore the history and potential of water on Mars. For example, NASA's Perseverance rover has landed in the Jezero Crater, which once hosted a lake and a delta. The rover will collect and cache samples that may contain traces of ancient life 
for future returns to Earth. NASA also plans to send a lander called Viper to the south pole of Mars, where it will drill into the ice and search for water resources that could support human exploration. NASA has been at the forefront of uncovering the secrets of the Red Planet's water using various spacecraft and instruments, and by studying the past and present state of water on Mars, NASA hopes to learn more about the origin and evolution of life in our solar system and beyond. Number 2. NASA's Hidden Messages on Mars Parachutes Have you ever wondered what NASA engineers do for fun? Well, it turns out that they like to hide secret messages and symbols on their spacecraft that are heading to Mars. These hidden features are called Easter eggs, and they're not easy to spot. To locate these secrets, you need a keen eye, a good knowledge of codes, and sometimes a bit of luck. One of the most recent Easter eggs was found on the parachute that helped land Perseverance rover on Mars in February 2021. The parachute had a pattern of reddish, orange, and white splotches that looked random at first glance. But some clever people on the internet soon realized that the pattern was actually a binary code that spelled out Dare Mighty Things, the motto of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. The code also contained the GPS coordinates of JPL's headquarters in California. But that wasn't the only Easter egg on Perseverance. The rover also carried a small piece of Martian meteorite that was found on Earth and returned to its home planet. The meteorite named Sea al Uhamir 008 was used as a calibration target for one of the rover's instruments. It also served as a symbolic link between Earth and Mars. Perseverance wasn't the first spacecraft to have Easter eggs on board. Its predecessor, Curiosity, also had some hidden features, including a message in Braille on its camera that says JPL and a Morse code pattern on its wheels that spelled out JPL as well. The Morse code also left tracks on the Martian soil that could be seen from orbit. NASA engineers said they hid these Easter eggs to inspire others and have some fun. They also said that they hoped to encourage people to look closer at their work and learn more about their missions. So next time you see a picture or a video of a NASA spacecraft, pay attention to the detail because you might discover something amazing. And at number one, how Curiosity uncovered Mars's explosive past. Mars may seem like a quiet and barren planet today, but it was once a hotbed of volcanic activity. NASA's Curiosity rover has discovered rocks that were formed by massive volcanic eruptions about 3 billion years ago. These eruptions were so powerful that they could have altered the climate and habitability of Mars. On July 30th, 2015, the rocks were found in Gale Crater, a 96-mile-wide basin that Curiosity has been exploring since 2012. The rover drilled into the rocks and analyzed their chemical composition using its onboard instruments, and the results showed that the rocks contained high amounts of silica and sulfur, which are typically formed by certain types of explosive volcanic eruptions. These eruptions are called super eruptions because they can eject more than 240 cubic miles of material into the air. For comparison, the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980 ejected only about 0.2 cubic miles of material. Super eruptions can have global consequences. They can cause the climate to cool down, they can change the chemistry of the atmosphere and oceans, and they can even affect life on Earth. The discovery of super eruptions on Mars suggests that the planet was geologically active for longer than previously thought. It also raises questions about how these eruptions affected the environment and potential life on Mars. Did they create favorable conditions for life to emerge or survive? Or did they wipe out any traces of life that may have existed? NASA's Curiosity rover will continue to investigate these questions as it climbs Mount Sharp, a three-mile-high mountain in the center of Gale Crater. Mount Sharp is composed of layers of sedimentary rocks that record billions of years of Martian history. And by studying these rocks, Curiosity will reveal more secrets about the past and present of Mars. What are your final thoughts? Do you think life once existed on Mars? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. We'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.